Um, this is a real honor uh, for me to read uh, my good friend Sonny Wolf's citation. Uh, if you can imagine how excited you'd be as a friend and a coaching colleague to be reading a citation, you can imagine being the athletic director of the institution inducting him. Um, I want to recognize Sonny's family that's in attendance. Um, brother Richie uh, decided on Tuesday to fly in from Victoria. Um, would have been a surprise if Howie didn't spill the beans on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Howie didn't, uh, didn't come from quite as far. In fact, uh, uh, lives a uh, hallway down from, uh, from Sonny and Denise um, in a beautiful uh, complex in, in Montreal. And uh, finally, nephew Daniel and uh, the hockey football guys We'll remember Daniel for about 15 years being the ball boy on the sidelines periodically throughout the season. And he's the only guy, I think, in the history of Acadia that patrolled the sidelines with the head coach during the day and the anvil with the players. <laughs> 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 and finally, uh, Denise. Uh, Denise was a huge part of the community here in Wolfville. Um, and uh, just, uh, if you're making a movie about uh, football life and uh, just the connection between a coach and his wife and uh, loving the game, um, it, yeah, it's pretty special. And uh, just the partnership and, uh, you know, Cindy and I comment on it uh, a lot of different times. It's uh, just a, a really amazing partnership between the two of them. Um, Uh, we've stayed close as family since we left Acadia um, this summer, though we had a chance, and we've been together a lot of times since then, but this summer we had a chance to spend a week with Sonny and Denise in Montreal, um, and uh, it's pretty cool when after a week you don't really want to leave and you don't get a sense they want to kick you out of their house. <laughs> And nothing really changed, you just pick up where you left off and uh, uh, I've only probably in my life felt the need to do one or two, three toasts ever and we went for dinner the last night that we were together and I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, let Sonny and Denise know that uh, if it wasn't for them we probably don't end up at Acadia in the first place and uh, the, the first night that I spent a full day here desperately needing to get this job as the head coach of the hockey team, uh, I was with them, and it was like so many nights. Who would have known? Uh, it started early in the evening and went to all hours of the night. And uh, I know the next day I phoned back to Cindy and said, "You know, I met two really great people, and you know, I, th I think you and Denise are going to be friends. And uh, if I get the job, and Sonny and I joke and just now say, if our, if our wives would just get along a little better, maybe we'd be friends." <laughs> <laughs> But I did say at the end of that toast that the best part about coaching over the years, and I know we've moved a lot and that type of thing, is you meet so many new people. Uh, and uh, right at the top of the list would be Sonny and Denise. So, Sonny, before I read your citation, uh, you're a, a really special friend. Uh, you're one of the nicest and best people. I thought Bernsey actually said it the best. Uh, that there's so many people I've ever met. I know for Cindy and I, we just talk about it privately that. Uh, uh, you're really, really something. Um, you're, you're more importantly a true role model, and when you think of a role model, it's having an impact on other people. And uh, there are a lot of people here at Acadia, I see Jeff Cummins up here and, and Bernsey talking before, but so many people in our department, Sedzi, people like that, that, that have learned so much from you and the players before, obviously. And this week has been kind of like, it's kind of like the Mariano Rivera farewell tour in the city, but you've been back here and just in a short period of time. You've seen the impact you've had on so many people because you just can't get away from people. Um, but there are more people than you saw this weekend. But this means so much to get back here to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. So I want to read your citation. Um, most people spend their lives trying Most people spend their lives trying to find a career that's satisfying and fulfilling. For Sonny Wolf, his decision early in life to coach football would never waver. And over the course of a 40-year career, he mentored many young men in a sport they loved 
and guided them to even greater things through graduation and after that. A native of Montreal, Sonny was raised in Cote de Nage district. He began his career in 1968 as a defensive line coach with the NDG Maple Leafs, followed by three seasons as a defensive coach at Sir George Williams University from 69 to 71, and four years as a defensive coordinator at Vanier College from 72 to 75. He played briefly with the McGill Redmen and graduated from McGill with a degree in physical education in 76. He then served as a full-time assistant coach and recruiter at McGill for eight seasons under Charlie Bailey from 76 to 83. A coach that would never be outworked by a rival school, Sonny instilled in his assistants a work ethic that would lead to their success. When asked who he considered a mentor in his early years, Sonny referred to his relationship with Bailey. Acadia Athletic Director Kevin Dickey was a colleague of Sonny's from 97 to 2000 when Dickey was the head coach of the Hockey Axemen. As both the director of athletics and a good friend of Sonny Wolf's, I'm extremely pleased that he's been inducted to our Sports Hall of Fame. I'm not sure there's anyone in the history of Acadia Athletics who's left their mark on a campus the way Sonny did over 19 years, Dickie said. It goes way beyond the wins and losses. It's the impact he's had on young people and the, and the other coaches in the sports who worked alongside of him. More than anything, Sonny's a tremendous person and we're pleased to honor him. Sonny Wolf completed his 24th and final season as, he, as a CIS head coach in 2011 after five years at McGill, a captain in 19, after capping a 19-year career at Acadia, during which he and his wife Denise became an integral part of the local community. He won three AUS championships at Acadia, 84, 95, and 98, and his 24 seasons as a head coach tied him with the legendary Gino Fragas for the seventh highest career total in the CFL history, or sorry, CIS history. <laughs> he has a career record of 83-94 in, in regular season competition and developed more than 20 players who went on to pro careers in the CFL. Following his retirement from CFL football, Wolf was honored by the, CI, the CIS sport in June 2003. He received the Deconic Coaching Excellence Award presented since 2007 to an individual who's made an outstanding contribution to university sport as demonstrated by a long-term commitment and leadership as a coach at the local, provincial, national, or international level. Hardly surprising, Sonny, through retirement, isn't really a part of his plan. His passion for shaping the futures of young people today has taken him back to the high school level, level where he now coaches a team in Montreal. The Acadia Sport Hall of Fame is pleased to induct Sonny in the Builder category, an outstanding coach and valued mentor to countless student athletes, Sonny Wolf. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, couldn't have uh, picked someone that um, was closer to myself and Cindy uh, to do uh, his, just a great job with the sanitation, so thank you so much. Uh, congratulations to uh, my fellow inductees, and um, I want to thank uh, deeply uh, and sincerely the selection committee, the university. Uh, I'm humbled and, and uh, very fortunate to uh, be standing here this evening in, in front of you. Uh, I want to go through a, a bit of history here. Uh, I was interviewed for the position uh, in, in 1984 and uh, uh, decided that uh, when offered the position that we'd come here for three years, uh, leave Montreal, and uh, three years became 19 uh, real, real quickly. It's amazing, uh, the community here, the friends that we've made, the relationships, uh, uh, we're back here. Uh, my wife was able to fly out a little prior to myself and uh, just walking around the, the town uh, this morning, uh, while there are some cosmetic changes, it's the same magical place that I came to in 84 that uh, gave myself and, and Denise uh, just uh, uh, an, incredible, uh, an incredible trip and I uh, have to thank so many people. Uh, start with talking about uh, having been as fortunate uh, as any coach to have coached a, a, just an incredible group of young men. Um, I, I would say that I coached uh, through the 19 years here 
mainly very good football teams, some great football teams, some excellent football teams. But what I'm most proud of relative to what we did on the field, I can't remember very many games where I'd go home and feel like the young men that, um, that I coached and we coached didn't give everything that they had. And they can't ask for anything more than that as a coach. And uh, I always felt season every season that our kids went out and gave as much as we had. Love to have maybe one more tackle here or there, perhaps one last less pass interference call, and those kinds of things. But over a career, uh, you start all, all that matters is winning. And uh, I can remember uh, Charlie Bailey, who I coached with for a bunch of years. He was the head coach at McGill when I was an assistant. We were co-assistant coaches at Sir George. Uh, many nights on the road. It didn't happen that often in football when you have an overnight trip, but we did at least once a year. And Charlie was a great devotee of cigars and uh, scotch. And <laughs> cigars didn't appeal to me very much, and the scotch grew on me. And uh, <laughs> Charlie uh, would talk about. Uh, I was frustrated that we weren't winning as many games as a young coach would want, and uh, he'd say. It's about the process, it's about the process, it's about giving the young man an opportunity to learn about themselves, for an opportunity for young men uh, to, to be challenged and uh, as you coach long enough, uh, the wins are, are, are beautiful, uh, but uh, uh, I, I was uh, so taken aback this, through this weekend uh, to have had as many uh, young men who I was fortunate enough to coach uh, come up and, and it's just been, it's been great. Uh, it, uh, I couldn't imagine 19 better years and to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. It was, uh, it's, it's terrific. Uh, yesterday, Kevin toured uh, myself and my brothers around the facility, and the uh, improvements are, are dramatic, and, and it's exciting to see. And I took a, a look at the uh, folks in the builder, uh, in the builder category, and uh, uh, well, there's a, a select group of outstanding leaders, and. Uh, to be considered uh, to join that group again is humbling and uh, I want to thank those people who uh, uh, were a part of the selection committee and certainly want to thank Acadia, uh, Wolfville, uh, the community. Uh, it's, it's just been terrific, so thanks so much.